So, I'm super happy and pumped up to be bringing to you a set of stories from the Practitioners Hub. All the stories that have come across during my lifetime of different people and I'm bringing them to you today. How good is that? So sit back, relax and listen to the story I'm about to tell you. There was once a therapist called Janet. Now Janet, as she was growing up, she'd come from a multicultured um, background. So her father was from Sri Lanka and Janet had an English mother. But the problem being was the English mother taught Janet, who was the eldest child, that it was her responsibility to look after all family members, okay, even her father. And the way she taught her that was not verbally, but it was all very, very subliminal. So she was being brainwashed from such a young age that it was her responsibility to make sure that all the members of the family were actually um, were actually looked after, you know, because she saw her mother looking after her father, which was fine, but she also saw her mother looking after everyone. So Janet thought that this was the natural thing that her life should take place with. So she was a therapist, you know, in later life, but Janet realized that as she was growing up, she loved helping people, but she had nothing about herself. There was nothing in Janet. She was a lost soul, a lost entity. She gained all her satisfaction from helping her family who didn't really appreciate her much. And she learned from her mother that it was her job to look after everybody, even though she never knew who she really was. Now, as time went on, Janet naturally fell into the role of being a therapist. She was so busy being a therapist, she loved being a therapist, but Janet had one thing missing and she hadn't learned from her family that she needed to take care of herself. So Janet spent all her time when she was doing therapies, looking after everyone, over exceeding herself to everybody's needs. And then she'd come home and she did the same with her husband. She was completely there for him. She never ever chose to do anything for herself. Because remember, she came from a family where she was subliminally taught how to look after everyone. And then she had a breakdown. Janet had a breakdown. Remember, Janet didn't know who she was. She had no real feelings of looking after herself or anything. But she realized that what she'd been doing when she had this breakdown, she'd been looking after everybody else at the expense of herself. And this real awakening made her realize she needed to have time for her because throughout this breakdown she had, she could hardly move, her mind had shut down and no one really respected her while she was ill. And this was really sad for Janet because no one, her friends were always not really there for her. It was always her being there for them all the time. And during this time, Janet realized when she was ill, somehow realized that she needed to take care of herself in order to get better. So for once in her life, she was not looking after clients because she was too ill. She wasn't able to look after her husband because she was too ill. And her family couldn't expect that of her because she'd had a breakdown. You see, and, but people weren't there for her in the same way that she had been there for others. So somehow Janet came across a book. She came across a book that spoke to her. It spoke to her and she started reading. She started reading this first book. And it said in this book, when she'd look at the, the back 
of the book. It said, you need to learn to love yourself. And Janet didn't know what that meant because all her life she'd spent time looking after others. She was always the one that put others before herself. And Janet realized that there were certain steps in this book that she needed to do where she needed to apply and do things for herself. And this was strange for Janet because Janet was a therapist. She helped others. How could she help herself? From a young age, she was busy helping in the family. She'd learned from her Sri Lankan dad that that was what was expected of women. But this book said something completely different. In order for her to get better, she had to start doing certain things to help herself. So in this book, it actually said, I would like you to give yourself a present every single day. And this present can, doesn't have to be monetary. It can actually be just looking at something, having a bit of time. And Janet thought, this is really weird. She'd never had time for her. She'd never thought about thinking about herself. She didn't even know she existed. She had no feelings. She was numb. She didn't even cry. Can you imagine that? So Janet thought, well, in order to get better, I will try. I will try my best. So she started applying these simple steps that this book said. And in this book, it said simple things like, sit and have the time to watch and look at a flower. Sit and have the time, just give yourself five minutes in the day, okay? Maybe to watch a program you want to watch or buy something you want to watch, but it has to be something for you. Janet thought, this is ridiculous. Why should I be thinking about myself? I'm too busy wanting to help other people. But she was ill and she was determined to follow what this book said because this book that had come to, she had come into was giving her the opportunity of feeling better and she was willing to try anything. Now, Janet had been practicing all the normal things like health, she was doing that on a daily basis. She was a healthy person, you know, but she, she had no self-esteem. She'd lost herself. She'd, lo she'd been expected from a child to be there for everyone. And then her husband expected, to, expected her to be there for him all the time. And then her job involved looking after others. And as Janet started giving to herself on a daily basis, just like this book said, she started realizing, ah, I like this. I'm actually enjoying having that little bit of time for me. And she started to find out about what Janet wanted, what Janet was, what was important to Janet. And although she still cared about helping other people, as time evolved, she realized that her hered you know, her the beginnings of her childhood had, had been set out in stone for her. She started to realize that her purpose was to help people, but she also had a purpose to look after her, to value her. And as time moved on, it was amazing. Janet bloomed into this beautiful therapist and no longer did she look tired and worn out by looking after everybody at the expense of herself. She started to value who she was. She still did the same job, but Janet, allowed time for her. She took time out for her. Sometimes she meditated. Sometimes she bought something for herself. Sometimes she treated herself to a massage, but she did it on a daily basis. And as she kept doing these little gifts for herself on a daily basis, she really, really learned to love herself of what that book was talking about. 
Before that, she had no idea what loving yourself meant. But Janice, as time went on, as she learned to give to herself, her self-worth increased. And then she was able to be there for other people, but with love and not at the expense of herself. Janet is amazing now, she's grown in herself. And all those people that didn't respect her in the earlier days, like her family and also her husband, have learnt to like Janice for who she's become. Because you see now, because she loves herself, she has taught other people how to respect her. I hope you enjoyed today's stories from the Practitioners Hub. My name's Teresa Rich, and these are all the different things I've seen throughout my life. So I'm gonna be bringing them to you on a weekly basis. All the different stories, obviously the people's names are anonymous and um, I'm not going to be talking about their names but I am going to be talking about all the different stories that have come up throughout my lifetime um, and the different therapists I've seen, the different practitioners I've seen and the different clients. So I'm not going to be using any client names, I'm not going to be talking about, I'm just going to be talking stories and stories to try and help you in the interim. Um, and sometimes they resonate with people and sometimes they don't. So let me know, what do you think? Are you a Janice or are you a self-love person? My name's Teresa Rich from Reflexology UK. Let me know what you thought about this session.